January 28th, 2023, mid-Michigan. Um, I'm finding a lot of colonies that have queens that haven't stopped laying, and it's not because they've been inside. If you go back to look for, through my videos, my colonies have been outside. I brought a, a few in during the month of December, but I took them out beginning of January. <coughs> and now this is what I'm finding. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for my old old queens. I'm looking to see if they're gone. This right here is a 2020 queen. And I'm, I want to combine colonies. And this colony is very aggressive. It's very large. I didn't even I didn't even start with the medium because it's full of bees. I started with the deep. And this is what I'm finding. A lot of bees brood all different stages of development and this colony is such a mess as far as the bees scattered everywhere that I'm not gonna be able to find the queen I'm I just during the summer when you do this stuff you do it during the middle of the day when most of the foragers are out so you don't have to deal with them but inside this room I got to deal with all the bees. See, here's another frame of brood. And what's going to happen is they're going to starve. They're going to eat all their honey because they don't know that they're supposed to stop doing brood. Hey, look at that. I've got new larvae started. Cat brood there. Look at that. What the hell is going on with my bees? Normally this time of year I'm starting to put in pollen substitute. Or pollen substitute with some real pollen. But I didn't want to do that because I didn't feed them syrup last fall and I'm limited on honey. cat brood here that I can see that man there's way too many bees in here they're gonna starve to death you know what I ought to do with this colony if I could find that queen I ought to just take this colony and break it up and put it into my new colonies with the ones with my 2022 queens and be done with this one because if I leave it alone If I leave it alone, they're going to eat all their honey. See, there's still more brood there. For some reason, they're under the impression that it's summertime. You know, January was warm. We had temperatures in the 40s. But there was, there was nothing available outside the hive as far as pollen. There's the queen. Right there is the queen. And if she's an old queen, she'll have tattered wings. Most of the time, not always. There, see. So I don't, I don't mark my queens. It's possible this is a new queen, because I go sometimes I go all summer long and go out checking my colonies, and they may replace a queen that I don't know about. But if she has tattered wings, then I'm pretty much guaranteed that she's an old queen. So anyway, I've got the queen here. I'm going to I'm going to set this aside. So that I don't kill her while I put this back together. But but all, by all rights I should either I'm going to have to give them several frames of honey or break it up into small put them into the small colonies. But this is there's just too many bees in here. Well, this this right here is full. That is full. So, I guess I'm going to make the decision. I'm going to put this back together. It's going to take me a while. Is there anybody else in the world doing this? 
indoor hive inspections. And if you guys got the impression I only do small colonies inside, well, this is not a small colony. This is a large colony. See the bees there? Okay? So, I was looking for colonies that didn't have a queen or a queen that had old tattered wings and I was probably going to kill kill that queen and, and wait a day or two and combine those bees with other colonies. But uh, I'm not sure about this queen because I don't take the time to mark my, my queens that I don't want to put any uh, toxic chemicals on them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this colony back together and uh, make sure, well, I'm just keeping an eye on it. They have a lot of honey medium and I'm going to put them back outside and hopefully that queen will stop laying. Put them back outside. I only brought them in a few days ago into, uh, into that shed out there. It's not heated, it's cold and dark, but the queen continued to want to lay. Okay, thank you.